When I wake up in the middle of the night And I feel wide awake cause I've got you on my mind I go walking out in the streets with the stars above me Cause I can't go back to sleep I'm Anna French, and while I was living in my van and traveling solo across North America, I met Ryan on the road. We caravaned together around the United States and fell in love. We adopted Nova, a mixed breed rescue puppy, then bought a small off-grid house in the middle of nowhere and started renovating it. While we still plan to travel in the van, it's been really nice to have a home base. And he stops for a moment, wags his tail and keeps on grooving. Trees cast shadows from the moon up above And I think that the moon and me might just fall in love I don't know why I feel this way, but I got you on my mind We are now living in southern Colorado on five acres where we're going to be building um, a sustainable farmstead and we've been slowly renovating it over the months this video is just going to go over kind of how we survived the winter. It's now um, March, but winter kind of started for us in December. And catch you up on what's ha been happening in our lives here in our off-grid farmstead. We got our first big snow in October with about a foot and a half. And I realized quickly we were going to be in for some really cold months ahead of us. Luckily, my mom had gifted me some used snowshoes, which really helped ensure that we weren't stuck inside. Cause I can't get to sleep when I got you on my mind Hey yo, walking in the night With the moon and the stars, they make me feel alright Hey ho, walking in the night Cause I can't get to sleep when I got you on my mind Oh. I think one of the most important things that's helped us survive this winter is just layering, having the appropriate kind of clothing so for me, that's been my parka. Um, I love this thing. And having the proper boots, we finally got muck boots. Yeah. But I also have some snow boots um, that I got early on in the winter since I didn't really have anything appropriate like footwear for this much snow. Because as you can see, this is our, our street, our residential street. We're like the only people on this street. So it doesn't really get plowed much. It's always like the last thing to get plowed if they do plow it. And you know, this is where we walk the dogs every day. So just having the right footwear for whatever level of snow there is, we've had to pull out the snowshoes a couple of times. I'm also wearing my waterproof um, Patagonia pants over some thermals. Uh, we've been okay, we've been surviving it so far. And then, you know, by the time we get back to the house, it's pretty warmed up. Just from the one fireplace we have that heats the place, it's a small propane stove and the heat all rises to our loft. So sleeping conditions have always been really warm, maybe even a little too warm. But sometimes the living area gets a little cold, but we just kind of bundle up inside and that's been keeping us pretty warm. We have a 500 gallon propane tank that we rent from Amerigas and we've had it filled up twice in the six months that we've lived here. Which seems like a lot, but we had a leak at the outside connection and they only fill it to 80% for safety reasons. We run our fireplace, our cooking stove, and our hot water heater off of propane. We try to go on daily walks around our house just to make sure Nova gets exercise and so that we don't go crazy from being inside all day. Over the clouds Life belongs to me. So again and warmth down to my dangling feet. Fairy dust in hand, gloves in high demand. I got some, there's plenty here to share. Cause I am flying. Nova's favorite game is. Um, hide and seek when we go on our kind of daily walks. <laughs> Ryan or I will just hide behind a bush and then Nova will come find us. She usually does it pretty quick. I let the good things all just roll right into me. I turn the sun on with a wave. 
of hand Imagine life is under my command Floating round the love Feeling such a buzz We've also been slowly trying to decorate and remodel the interior of our house while the weather is cold outside. This couch makeover was a real win thanks to this custom couch cover that we got on Etsy since this blue IKEA couch was really showing off all the dog hair that it was collecting. Then, on the winter solstice and the day that Jupiter and Saturn came closer together than they've been in 400 years, Ryan asked me to go on a hike. When we got to the top, Ryan got down on one knee and proposed to me. And in case it wasn't obvious, I said yes. We stayed home and celebrated the holidays on our own just to be safe. Nova was pleased with all her new toys. And since Ryan is the chef in our relationship, I got him a fancy cooking knife, among other things. Is this so I could cook better dinners for you? <laughs> yep. That's the one? Thank you. Love it. You too. And he got me a bread maker. Then for New Year's Eve, we celebrated with fondue, which is a tradition with my mom and I. Happy New Year! Almost. Yeah. Soon. Nice watch. <laughs> We're going uh, skiing slash snowboarding. I'm going to be skiing and Ryan is going to be snowboarding. And Ryan's definitely a an more advanced snowboarder and I've probably been skiing slash snowboarding. This would be my fifth time probably in my life. So, and it's been a few years <laughs> since I've done it last. I'm a little nervous, a little excited, but it's good to be getting out there. Um, and doing something that sort of takes advantage of winter because up until this point I feel like we've been sort of avoiding winter because there's just been way more snow than I'm accustomed to here at the house. Ryan grew up in upstate New York, so it's a little different for him. Um, this is kind of like no big deal. I grew up in the desert. We do not get a lot of snow in the desert. <laughs> Turn toward me and look so weak 
I've never seen you with such tired eyes. Got our coffee. We're just doing a little morning walk, trying to get Nova a little tired, at least get her some exercise since she's gonna be home all day by herself. And there she comes. <laughs> Probably like most pandemic dogs, she's never really like known what it's like to be at home while her parents are at work. Um, we've been pretty much with her 24 seven since we got her. Hopefully she'll get a little playtime in right now, then we'll head out. So the thing about um, living off grid in the winter is that you kind of become a hermit in your house. Additionally, when you're living off grid in the winter and there's a pandemic, uh, there's not many places where you can go that are safe. Basically, we've been trying to get out and go ski slash snowboard uh, just to kind of give us like a winter activity that makes winter more enjoyable instead of just kind of like hiding away in the warmth of our house. It was really nice in the beginning and then like you say, um, we get stuck. There was like times where we were there, in there for like probably two weeks and all we did to go outside was walk the dog and then that took about 30 minutes to an hour and we'd sit inside the rest of the time. We kind of tried snowshoeing around, we tried a couple of winter hikes, um, but I think this is really just the most fun I've had all winter <laughs> living off grid because it's um, something I've always sort of been scared of because I've never lived close to any slopes. So I, you know, I'd go once maybe every two years, every three years, and so I could never really improve and it, it kind of finally feels like I have the opportunity to, to get better at the sport and it'll just kind of make me enjoy winter a little bit more. socks and shoes right off that natural light is so damn polite can make you feel just like you were young again so the thing about having solar energy is I've got the lovely job of coming out here every time it snows to clear off all the snow from the solar panels. So, we've got this nice little car snow clearer thing. And it's got a nice soft edge on the side so we're not gonna damage any of the panels. And we just pretty much drag all the snow from the top all the way down. It only takes about five minutes, but it's definitely not something I want to do every morning when it snows. Oh, what is that? What? Standing underneath the rows of trees, you can see where the ocean meets the sky. Under our clothes, the fire grows. We are ready for this life of running wild. We're running wild. I will see you where the ocean meets the sky Under your toes, the fire glow You are ready for a different kind of life You're silent and bold, the wind is cold You must return to the wild You're silent and bold, the wind is cold You must return to the wild 
and every time we need to go somewhere, we've got to shovel snow. Eventually, we decided to get Nova a buddy. Meet June, short for Juniper. At least I think that's what we're going with. Um, her name was Dune when we got her, so we're trying to pick something close. Um, she's three and a half months old, and they think she's an Australian Shepherd mixed with, I think, a Blue Healer, but we have no idea. She's got like a pouty, a permanent pouty face. But her and Nova seem to be getting along for the most part. This is her first walk trying to get her used to the area and just walking. Um, she's been so good so far. So we're excited for our new addition to our family. Came to me in a dream last night and asked me, did I get your letter? How am I? Will I'm holding on tight? And yes, I've been better. I've been better. Truth is, I know you saw my words and stuttered and stammered for a while. Truth is, I know you saw my words and confrontations, not my style. So you could call me cruel and you could call me weak, but I'll just sit here and break. and sticking around this long. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I put out future off-grid living, van life, travel, and home renovation videos. And we'll see you next time. They're not the same. They're not the same since I changed my name.